Hi friends, welcome back to our Lishmi's physics classes. In this video, I am going to explain the vector form of Coulomb's law. For that, I am considering two point charges, let's say Q1 and Q2. And whose position vectors from the origin be, let it be say R1 and R2. Both the charges are positive. The force between the charges is repulsive force. If one is positive and the other one is negative, the force between them is attractive force. Let's see. Let us consider here both the charges are positive charges. So the force acting between these two charges is repulsive force. Let's say the force on Q1 due to Q2 will be F12 and the force on Q2 due to Q1 will be F21. Let us describe this diagram in words. Let the position vectors of charges, let the position vectors of charges Q1 and Q2 be R1 and R2 respectively. Let the force on Q1 due to Q2 be F12 and the force on Q2 due to Q1 B F21. Next, the vector leading from Q1 to Q2. Leading from Q1 to Q2 be denoted by R21. Therefore, R21 bar is equal to R2 minus R1. Let it be equation number 1. In the same way, the vector leading from Q2 to Q1B denoted by R12. Therefore, R12 is equal to R1 minus R2. So, here we got R12 is equal to R1 minus R2. Okay. Here now take the negative as common. So, this can be written as R2 minus R1. Okay. So, from equation number 1, it is clear that R2 minus R1 is nothing but R2 1. So now replace here R1 2 bar is equal to minus of R2 1. Let it be equation number 2. Okay. Here these directions are different but uh, these magnitudes are equal. R1 2 bar is equal to R2 1. Let it be equation number 2. 3. And the directions of these vectors can be specified by using unit vector. So unit vector from the definition of unit vector R21 cap is equal to that vector divided by its magnitude. Okay. Let it be equation number 4 and R12 cap is equal to R12 bar divided by and its magnitude. Let it be equation number 5. Now the Coulomb force from Coulomb's law the Coulomb force between Q1 and Q2 can be written as before Coulomb force on Q2 due to Q1 can be written as 
F to 1 force is acting on Q2 due to Q1 is F to 1 which is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught into Q1 Q2 by here the vector leading from Q1 to Q2 so R 2 1 square and the unit vector is R21. So this can be written as F21 bar is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught into Q1 Q2 by R21 square into here unit vector R21 can be written as from equation number 4 R21 divided by magnitude of R21. Okay. Now this can be written as F21 bar is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught into Q1 Q2 by R21. Here let's see R21 square into R21. So this can be written as R21 Q. And here already R21 is there. Okay, let it be equation number 6. In the same way, here we written the Coulomb force on Q2 due to Q1. So now write the Coulomb force. On Q1 due to Q2. Can be written as. So the force on Q1 due to Q2 is F12 which is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught into Q1 Q2 by R12 square into and the unit vector R12. Now this can be written as which is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught into Q1 Q2 by R12 square into unit vector R12 can be written as from equation number 5 R12 bar divided by magnitude of R12. So now this can be written as 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught into Q1 Q2 by R12 square into R12. So R12 Q and this can be R12. So F12 bar is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught into Q1 Q2 by R12 cube into here R12 from equation number 2 R12 can be replaced by minus R21 so minus R21 since from equation number 2 okay so now this can be written as F12 bar is equal to this negative sign I am writing front so minus 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught into Q1 Q2 by R12 cube into R21 bar. So let it be equation number 7. So from equation number 7 and 6 it is clear that F21 F21 bar is equal to see here F12 minus of here negative sign is there F12 I hope it is clear to you please like the video share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe the channel thank you for watching this video